30 years later and the voices still waver, survivors will never forget. I remember seeing the kids that are already deceased and somehow I stuck my arm through them and a truck driver pulled me off. At a weekend memorial service, loved ones of the 27 who died say it feels just like yesterday. My daughter Patty was the youngest child killed in the Kentucky bus crash at age 10. May 14, 1988, on the return home from a fun-filled day at Kings Island, some of the kids and parents were exhausted and nodding off during the journey on I-71. That same day, a 36-year-old man named Larry Mahoney was drinking beer so much that he drove the wrong way on the interstate. The collision killed many, and the fire afterward took others or left scars that are a daily reminder of the pain and horror. I have a memory of remembering the bus blowing up once I was outside of the bus. And through 30 years of memories, there's forgiveness. He didn't intend on getting up and killing 27 people. He made a bad choice. And uh, so I would just say, you know, uh, I believe he's remorseful and I pray that he comes out and speaks one day. After Larry Mahoney's conviction on 27 counts of manslaughter, he never talked to the media again. He was sentenced to 16 years in prison and was released after 10. He's 67 years old now and reportedly living in Owen County, Kentucky. Lisa Cooney, WIWT News 5.